Hey, welcome back to another one of our Dan Frequently Asked Questions sessions. In this episode, we'll be discussing the issue of malaria and malaria prophylaxis. Now, it comes in the form specifically of a question that was asked by a pair of divers that are planning a vacation in Papua New Guinea. And I'm going to use their question to give you a slightly broader answer on malaria in general. As far as Papua New Guinea is concerned, the Center for Disease Control recommend that if you will be spending a significant amount of time below about 800 meters, in other words, below 2,400 feet, then you will be vulnerable to malaria. And all three major types of malaria are prevalent in Papua New Guinea which means that yes, for the most part, you will need to take medication. Now, generally what we approach or how we approach it is that if you spend a week or less in a malaria area, it's often better to work reactively. In other words, the chances of you getting malaria are not that high, although people can get it within a day and manifest within three days, but as long as they remember that they had exposure or potential exposure, they can then very rapidly respond to the symptoms of malaria and treatment is generally very effective. If you spend more than a week in a given area, let's say three or four months, then the chances are very high of you getting malaria and it's very wise to then take malaria prophylaxis. Now we have on our DAN website uh, an entire section dedicated on the topic of malaria but the most important thing is to decide on the most appropriate medication or prevention for you and what is important to remember is that Mefloquin, which is a once a week tablet, which is very convenient, is unfortunately completely contraindicated for diving or flying because it causes psychiatric or may cause psychiatric side effects. So what we recommend for those that don't want to spend uh, a bit more money on anti-malarials we recommend doxycycline, which is a type of antibiotic. And it's usually 100 milligrams that you take once a day. And the idea is to start two days before you enter the malaria area to make sure you don't have side effects and if necessary can switch to something else. And you are supposed to continue taking the tablets up to four weeks after exiting the malaria area. The reason for this is that the antibiotic doesn't kill the actual parasite, but it stuns it and it allows the body to eradicate it. The alternative is to take either malarone or malanol, as it is named respectively in America or in Europe. And that contains proguanol and atovaquin. Its greatest benefit is that you can start virtually a day before going on a trip and the nice thing is, because it actually is lethal to the parasite, it kills it, which means you can stop taking it a week after returning back to your place of residence, assuming that that is a malaria-free zone. So the important things to remember are, firstly, consider whether you should take, and most countries, especially in the tropical belt, do have malaria, especially at lower altitudes. Secondly, that you choose the right anti-malarial if your exposure is going to be longer than a week. Thirdly, that if you are not going to be in a place where you're going to get uh, um, adequate medical care, that you take some of the treatment, which is also available in the form of three tablets that you take and uh, many people take them on di dive trips or expeditions with them to make sure that they have them handy and don't need to rely on local stocks and that you are attentive 
to any symptoms that resemble flu. Now we're all very, very sensitive about COVID, but don't forget that malaria still affects 2 million people every year, of which a large number of especially young children and pregnant women die. So it is one of the greatest killers, especially in Africa. And be wary, because once you return home, one quickly forgets about the trip. And if you are in a country that is unfamiliar with tropical diseases, they may very easily exclude or not consider the possibility of malaria. So I hope that answers the question and that you will take the appropriate precautions. Look at the material on the, on the Dan website. And until next time, safe diving.